Hello and welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. Today I'll be showing you guys the Thermalrite HRO2 passive heatsink. Uh, if you look at the outside of the box here, just a plain generic brown box, typically what um, Thermalrite does with their packaging. As you can see, it says here HRO2 fanless and low noise CPU cooler. Open this up. You got a Thermalrite case badge. Your assembly package sheet here tells you guys what's what's all inside there and then here's the assembly manual and this fits on Intel 775, 1156 and 1366 CPUs now let's take a look inside the box here and right away you can see they include a nice um, Phillips head screwdriver for installing this cooler and then before we take the cooler out, let's look at what accessories come here. Accessory bag. Let's open this up. Alright, inside here we have a wrench. And this wrench is for actually tightening down the CPU and adding more force to the um, to the hold down mechanism to improve uh, thermal transfer. You have your thermal paste, which is some CF3, which is a very nice thermal paste. Here we have our base plates, front and back, and then our hold down screws there. And we got some anti vibration pads if you plan to actually run a fan on here, which is nice because they included not only 120 millimeter fan mounts, but 140 millimeter fan mounts as well. So if you do want to run this with a fan on here and not run it passive, you do have the option of running a 120 or 140 millimeter fan. Very nice the thermal right to include those, especially on a CPU cooler that's listed as a passive unit. And this here is the uh, mechanism that actually will give you the additional force uh, when you want to tighten down the CPU cooler even more. And that is all in the accessories. Let's take this out of the foam here so you guys can actually get a look at how big the CPU cooler is. And as you can see, there it is right there. Very, very large unit. It has six heat pipes. As you can see, they're staggered to uh, improve the cooling and the airflow going by. And if you notice, these fins are very, they're spaced apart um, very widely. And that is because being this is a passive cooler, uh, you want all of your case airflow to be able to come through this and actually remove the heat without causing any kind of uh, disruption or blockage, uh, which would cause overheating. And another thing to note is, if you see the way this is angled, it is actually meant to sit on your CPU and actually be closer to the rear exhaust fan to actually help the air come through the cooler. And the, uh, the base here is very flat. It's their typical uh, machined nickel plated finish that they use on all their stuff. This whole cooler is actually nickel plated. Looks very, very nice. And um, yeah guys, so that is the HRO2 from Thermalrite. I will make another video on testing uh, temperature comparisons between a stock cooler and this cooler. And then I will also do a closer look video where I'll show you guys a lot more in detail about all this stuff and I'll go over more of the specifications for you guys. And if you're uh, actually interested in any of the specifications, I will list them all in the description. And I uh, just wanted to thank Thermalrite for providing this product to me for review. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel, comment, and rate this video. And I will see you guys soon. I hope you all have a great day.